Hey guys, Joanna coming in. Got another battle replay for you here on Total War Room 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. But we are on the battlefield here today. We do have a 4v4. And there's a lot of cavalry. Decent amount of cavalry. Well, no, there is a lot because we have a full horde faction here. But, alright, let's take a look at the armies. I believe the name of the battlefield is Petra. So let's take a look at the armies. We'll start off on this side first looking at... Bactria being commanded by Olorum 3, Olorium 3, I think. And they have brought six units of Thorax Swordsmen, two pikemen. General is an Indian armored elephant. Wow. Interesting. Uh, also has two units of Citizen Cavalry, two Scythian Horse Archers, and four units of the Elite Persian Archers. Then we have an Egypt being commanded by Alien Master 20, and he has brought five units of Thorax Swordsmen, uh, Two Thoreo Spears, two Galician Swordsmen, two Carrion Axemen, two Hellenic Royal Guard. General is a Royal Thorax Swordsman. Three units of the Egyptian Infantry and four Nubian Bowmen. Right in front of them, we have a Sparta being commanded by Gracos, or Gracos. And he has brought six units of the Spartan Hoplites, three Spartan Pikemen, two Royal Spartans, one Periochia Spear. General is a Heroes of Sparta, and he has five units of the Helot Archers. And then we have a Macedon here being commanded by Gregory, and he has brought four units of Thorax Pikemen, three Hoplites, two Royal Peltas, General is a Companion Cavalry, also has an Aspis Cavalry, uh, Aspis Companion Cavalry, sorry, one unit of the Tarantine Cavalry, two Slingers, and two Archers. Getting onto the other side, wow. Oh, I thought that was bodies. Ha, <laughs> they're just rocks. Uh, on this side, we do have a Parthia being commanded by Bulk Dillion, and he has brought four units of Hillmen, three Parthian swordsmen, three mercenary hoplites, generals, a royal cataphract. He also has two units of the camel cataphracts, four eastern slingers, and two units of the armored horse archers over there on the flank. Moving over here, we do have Rome being commanded by Chimp Me Up. Chimp Me Up. And he has brought six units of legionnaires, four Hestati, four armored legionnaires. General is a Legatus. He also has two units of Syrian archers, two levies, and one Equite. Then we have a Pontus who's kind of boxed up. Actually, he brought, wow, he brought deployables. That's crazy. Uh, we do have a Pontus here, like I said, being commanded by Andrusum. Andrusum, I think. And he has brought four units of Thoreo spears, three Pontic swords, and one Hillman. Four scythe chariots, one of those being the general, and five eastern archers. And then we have a Massagete being commanded by Fulgrim. And he has brought four units of the step noble lancers, three Saka cataphracts, three Saka noble armored lancers, one of those being the general, and three units of the Amazonian riders right up there. So it looks like everybody has kind of pressed forward, at least on this side. Masagete is kind of still moving around. He did bring his archers forward, though. He's got the three Amazonian riders that have moved forward. Sorry about it being on slow motion there. Just with the, a lot of cavalry and field battles, just kind of kind of, kind of explode very, very quickly. So I didn't want to miss very much. But all right, we got the elite Persian archers trading back and forth with the Amazonian riders. Looks like they got away unscathed. Yes, they did get away unscathed for now. The elite Persian archers actually took a couple of losses. That unit did lose four. But all right, guys, there you go. Army comps out of the way, and let's get ready for the beginning of this battle. Okay, so in the middle here, we actually had Sparta sending all five units of the Helot archers forward. We do see a unit of the Slingers way over there for Macedon wavering away. Probably going to come back, though. Yeah, it's 43 out of 120, so they should come back. But the Helen Archers did retreat back behind a line of pikes. Going to get some shots, though. Shooting into that Equite unit. Oh, wow. Dropping quickly down to 56. Already 24 of them dead. That's crazy. All right. Pontus still kind of boxed up here. I mean, he's moving up his Thoreos. Not a bad idea. Again, these stones keep messing me up. I thought those were dead bodies. All right. Let's see. We got the Scythian Horse Archers over here for Batria. Chasing away the, Ar uh, the Amazonian Riders over on this side. Pont is starting to bring some more units, but Archer, there you go, getting shots. Oh, wow. Wow, down to 38. That unit there down to 74, so losses. Already a lot of losses there, but Macedon starting to move forward. Oh, boy, Parthia, better watch out. It's got the Royal Peltas up on the front line, getting into that square formation. Not really sure what they're worried about getting into, and that square formation, sorry, shield wall. Yeah, the cavalry's all the way over here. I'm not really sure why he would be afraid of that. But, oh, Equite's coming through again. Are they actually going to get lucky? Ooh, that Helen Archer took some losses. Almost half the unit dead. Here comes that Equite, though. A lot of chevrons. Triple bronze chevron to start the battle. 
And they are going to charge across here and get absolutely murdered. Oh my god. Yeah, that Equite unit is uh, pretty much toast. Down to 25 men. Didn't retreat them far enough away. Uh, we have a hoplite right there. Spartan hoplite getting into a hoplite wall now. Probably should have done that beforehand, but I don't really see a point in doing that. The Equites did get away, though. All right, let's see what's going over on this side. Masagete still kind of just playing around. Just kind of dipping in, dipping out with the with the uh, horse archers here. 22, 18, and 16. Not too bad. Back over on the other side. So we have Parthia moving forward here. Hillmen have moved forward. They have two kills so far. Looks like maybe they still have their javelins to throw. Oh, Royal Peltas tossing their javelins. And response. There you go. All right. So the Hillmen are trading back and forth here with these Royal Peltas. And they are getting wrecked. Oh, there's a unit of Eastern Slingers on the flank. Ooh, getting some really solid shots in onto that Royal Peltast. Already down to 126. The Slinger still firing? Come on. There you go. Get those stones in there. Kill those Royal Peltast. Oh, Royal Peltast are like, all right, we've taken enough damage. Charge. Time to go forward. Uh, back over here, Parthia's Cavalry and the Horse Archers kind of just hanging out for a little while. Sparta and Egypt have really just stacked up on top of each other. Looks like maybe they're going to start shifting around to try and pressure in on this side of the Parthia line. Might not be a bad idea. Bactria here has not really moved, but all of their... I'm looking, look at this. Yeah, all of their range are moving down. All of the range is moving down onto this side. Even all of Sparta, all of Egypt's... Oh, is Egypt moving his army? He is. Egypt is moving his entire force down over here to get in behind the... Macedonian force. Pikemen making their way forward. Thorax Pikemen taking some losses, taking some losses, and oh god. Oh no! Camel Cataphracts free to roam, and they are gonna find something. Now I know I said free to roam, haha, <laughs> roam's over there. But nope, charge in there, five kills already, and they are gonna start blasting through here now. Camel Cataphracts skyrocketing up to 31 kills, and they are catching a Helot Archer out away from the line there they go yeah that hell archer is dead 111 kills for that camel cataphract lost nine men you know probably lose some more as they're trying to retreat away a little bit of a javelin volley some of the hell archers there firing for sparta yeah macedon actually did press in here comes the pikes this could be a problem for those mercenary hoplites to deal with that's definitely going to be a problem for the mercenary hoplites to deal with Hold on, hold on. We got some cavalry. The armored horse archers have char... I'm sorry, that's the Aspis Companion and the General now coming in, catching out this armored horse archer, but oh, they went too far. They have gone too far. Oh, God. Saka. Oh, God. Big charge into that General. The other unit's going to come around. I bet he just comes right around here and gets in on the side. Yep, rear charge is coming. Here they come, getting into all of those hoplites, and the battle is definitely now exploding. Here comes all of Sparta moving forward, going to get into these legionnaires. Shots being fired back and forth. Auxiliary Syrian archers doing some pretty good, though. 115 kills for them. Parthia did a good job surrounding that Royal Peltast. Rome pressing out some more of his armored legionnaires here now, and that pike unit just got wrecked. Yep, Thorax pike went 72 kills, but they are out of here. Another unit of pikes looks like they've been surrounded by another unit of the mercenary hoplites. Rome now charging over some of his armored legionnaires here. Good peel of volley into the back of that thorax pikeman right there. Very nicely done. Good job. That pikeman's going to be out of here. That pikeman is going to be out of here. But Mastodon's still pressing forward. I'm, I'm actually enjoying seeing the aggressiveness of these land units. Still making their way forward, but oh boy, Camel Cataphracts charging in. They're going to smash this hoplite unit. I know I just said they just got into their hoplite wall, but they're still moving. Yeah. Once you get them into hoplite wall, you kind of have to stop. You got to stop with them so they can do something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got some mercenary hoplites here. Rome could definitely uh, get in there and get a lot of kills. 
Egyptian infantry, Galician swordsmen probably could kill them off very, very quickly. Back over on the other side here, though, Pontus has come out for the most part. He's still got his ranged units way back here, though. Way, way, way back. The Rayo Spears being javelined. Here comes the pikemen for back here. Going to start pressing into that Rayo Spear unit. We have a unit of Thorax swordsmen charging across. Going to get into this Rayo Spear unit. So Bactria has actually got some good, yeah, he's got a good spot here, but oh no. Oh, side chariot's starting to move. That's a problem. Now these guys should, yeah, they only have, they have zero and zero, so they still have full javelins. That could be the end of that side chariot if he decides to move them forward. But back in the center here, Rome is starting to fall apart. The Spartan pikemen getting some really good kills here in the middle. 119, 125, 162. Wow, really nicely done. Spartan Hoplites on the end here, taking on Histadi, and the Roman force is pretty much broken open here in the middle. Very, very, yeah, they're broken open. This is all wide open for Sparta to start moving forward, but oh my god, now Step Noble Lancers getting into the back lines of Sparta and getting into these Helid Archers, creaming them, destroying them, going to get a charge in onto the back of these guys? Yes, they are. Just running right through all of these archers. Got actually a little bit of a couple guys charged in onto the general. Interesting. 190 kills for them. Very nicely done. Parthia and Masagete have a decent amount of horse uh, cavalry, I should say, behind camels and cataphra camels and, and, and horses, I should say. Uh, getting around the back of the Macedon and Egyptian line. And here we go again. Step Noble Lancers. Sorry about all the lag, guys. But Step Noble Lancers getting into the back of that noble, I'm sorry, Nubian Bowman. Good charge there. 141 kills there. The Roman force is really suffering, though. He's got his legionnaires over here trying to take on some Spartan pikemen and Royal Spartans. That is not going to go their way. Estadi over here, not long for this battle. Really not long for this battle. Let's see, what, do we have any chariots charge in? I think we did. Yeah, oh my god, they got destroyed. A full chariot unit is gone. And now we have Bactria getting a good javelin volley in here. His pikes are not looking good. Oh, that's the Thrayo Spears. Never mind. I thought that was a pike unit. There's the pikes. Bactria has the pikes. All right, we got some more Pontic Swordsmen now starting to make their way forward. Let's get back over on this side. Yeah. Horse Archers back here. Armored Horse Archers, 86 and 100 kills for them. Here comes the Citizen Cavalry for Bactria, healing their way all the way across the battlefield to try and come over here and help their ally out. But with these Saka, yeah, with these uh, Saka Noble Lancers in the back lines here, Step Noble Lancers as well, 174, 138. Great job there. But Parthia is actually, his infantry is starting to get taken over pretty effectively. Just had a unit of Eastern Slingers get taken out with only, f oh, it's already 187. I thought that said 42. That's the Hillman. Hillman there with 42 kills. Really don't understand why this battle is so laggy. But okay, we go. Chariots again. Two full units of chariots charging in here, trying to get through. 23 kills, 28 kills. This unit's going to get in. No, they routed. Oh, what an inopportune time for that to happen. Uh, now we have the Bactrian cavalry over here, the Scythian horse archers chasing down the archers of Pontus. Still have the general sitting over there. Looks like he's going to try and run away. So this battle is actually, I mean... This side over here, Pontus is still there, but Rome in the middle is gone. For the most part, Rome is gone. He's got another armored legionnaire rushing their way back over here to try and tie up the rest of the Spartan units. Legatus General in the back lines of the Sparta force. Looks like he got a little charging onto some of those Spartan hoplites there. General's going to continue moving his way along. I wonder what he's going to go try and do. Maybe he's going to try and get over here and get it. Nope, he's rear charging. Okay, there you go. Gonna come on over here, get some rear charges into the back of these Spartans. Not a bad idea. I think that Spartan unit just routed. Or maybe he was trying to pull them back, but a solid, solid charge there by that general. Very nicely done. Knocked a lot of men down. Big time, yep. Big time penalties. Attacked in the rear. They are getting destroyed. Citizen Cavalry over here trying to take on the Saka Cataphracts and the Saka Noble Armored Lancers. But it's just not working out very well for them. Down to 30. This unit here with 38. And now Masagete is... So Masagete started... I don't know if you guys remember. Masagete started all the way over here. He has moved his force all the way around. And is now getting back into the rear of the Spartan lines again. 
Here comes a big charge in onto the back of a unit of Periokia Spears. Looked like they were trying to run back over to the front line to try and help hold on. But unfortunately, they have just been charged by some Step Noble Lancers. Very heavy shock cavalry. Good charge into the back of them. See what this unit's at. Only 34 kills. They are losing some men, though. Might want to consider pulling back out. But Bactria now starting to form his lines in this direction. Very good. He's going to be able to deal with anything that should be coming in from the attacking um, the attackers, I should say, or the you know the other side. Sparta here is starting to fall apart, though. That general, what's he up to? 65. What's got 300? Oh, the Royal Cataphract General. Where is he? 318 kills, and he's going to go kill himself some more Egyptian infantry? Yeah, sure, why not? Kill him. It's another 43 men. Get it. Do it. Just hit him. They're right there. Just charge. Just charge and get him out of there. Nope. Looks like he's going back over to get more into the... Nope, he's charging. Okay. Oh, and they turned around to face it. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, my God. Disgusting. Disgusting. I just totally made up that word. Disgusting. Uh, back over here, mercenary horse archers not looking good. The Scythian horse archers, 101, 58, but the Amazonian riders chasing them down now. But this is actually, look at this, Bactria. Look at the force he still has left. General starting to move forward. He's actually got 13 kills already somehow. Uh, if I was Sparta, honestly, I would not be moving. Move these units back. Form up with your ally. There's no point in trying to continue moving backwards or moving forwards into the enemy. Step Noble Lancers charging across. They are going to get into these elite Persian archers there. Persian archers are firing, though, trying to whittle that number down. They killed some. But the, uh, yeah, they're still going to get in there. Still going to get in there. Here comes the Amazonian riders. Looks like they're just going to try and come up and continue harassing. But, oh, my God, the elephants are going. The elephants are going in. 22 kills. Always a risk to take a... Elephant General, I personally feel like it's always a risk also taking a Chariot General. It's just kind of risky. It's kind of risky, and by kind, I mean very. Very, very risky to do that, but the Elephant General is going in over 100 kills. Now getting into some Eastern Slingers that were out of ammo. 328 kills for these Slingers. My God. Rome is trying to fall back. Looks like they're going to try and get back over here, maybe form up their lines over there. But the Bactrian Force still fighting. Yeah, still fighting along. Elite Persian Archers firing in onto these Step Noble Lancers, getting some more and more and more kills. This Persian Archer unit, 132 kills, probably out of ammunition, and they do double as a spear unit, so they're actually going to be able to hold this cavalry up for a bit. And yet one of them's getting wavered out of here. One of them just shattered. Wow, completely shattered. Sparta sending some more of his infantry back. What's he got? Spartan Hoplites, Hoplites, Royal Spartans, and Royal Spartans. So, okay, good amount of units. I think the Royal, I think the uh, Heroes of Sparta General, yeah, Heroes of Sparta General has been removed. Masagete now bringing in Amazonian Riders. 54 kills. Still have their bows out? No, they do not. They are out of ammunition. And they are just going to charge right into the back of that elite Persian Archer. Just try and get them out of there. Here comes some more of the Noble Lancers. Sock Cataphract right there as well. But let's get back over here to the General. He is out of control. 364 kills. Fire arrows. Fire shot coming in. Trying to keep this general at bay, trying to keep him out of control or in the out of control uh, space, I guess. Because I don't really count that as a formation. Yeah, it's, that's not a cool formation. But look at this. Pontus Eastern Archers firing away. But these elephants are just going. They are chasing these Romans down and they're going to murder them. Oh my God. 376. That number's got to start jumping soon. There it goes. Over 400 now. Ooh, boy. Yeah, Bactria is doing work with his general. Start moving forward. The battle's actually still in favor of the red team. So Bactria's team is actually in favor of winning this fight. And the... Oh, my God. Are they going to get into all of these eastern archers? I think they're going to. They're trying to run away now, but they're still out of control. There's the Egyptian general, Royal Thorax Swordsman General. 80 men left in the unit. Oh, wow, but the elephants again, 500, closing up to 600 now. Oh, my God, one unit of elephants, but he is starting to drop. He just lost another elephant there. Another elephant now getting into the hillmen and the hoplites, getting into the rest of the Parthian uh, infantry units. 
691. Keep going, bud. Keep going. 709. Oh, my God. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Battery is still moving forward. I don't know why, Parthia, why uh, Sparta moved all the way back over here. Should have stayed with Bactria. But this general still moving along. 759 kills. Wrecking the rest of the Parthian infantry. And Bactria now moving forward. Oh, that wasn't a... Wait, what? What is that? Oh, armored horse archers in there. I was going to say, that's the general? Rural Thorax Swordsman General getting away, but he is wavering. He's trying to get behind the Bactrian lines. Does not look like he's going to be around much longer. This general's still going, though. Still going. 809 kills. Great job. Back over on this side. Looks like the final bit of Sparta getting taken out. 212 for the Royal Spartan. Here comes the Roman general. Going to get in there. Help try and finish it. There they go. Gone. Okay, now what just died over here? Was that the Bactrian general that just died? I think it was. I don't know. I saw an alert. Oh, Massagete getting rear charges now. Getting onto the back of these infantry here. Thorax Swordsman taking a huge charge there. The Elephant's general is still... The general unit is still moving. Is that general's? No, the general's dead. I think this final elephant's going to drop, though. 831 kills, though. Massive amount of kills. Oh, no! Eastern Persian Archers. Elite Persian Archers. Watch the elephant. Ah, uh, he's rear charging. He's charging into his own men. Going out of control still. I can't believe he got 832 kills. That's awesome. I think that's one of the highest elephant kills I've seen yet on a battle here. For a field battle, at least. But now, Sag, yeah. Matsugete is just going to start rear charging. Again, I mean, wait a second. There's a Bactrian unit all the way over here. Thorax, swordsman, way around over there. Oh, rear charged by... So Rome actually was still around. I thought Rome was gone. Not counting his general. I thought Rome, all of his infantry is gone. But no, they still have an armored legionnaire there. 361 kills for them. Parthian general now coming around. Is that Bactrian general dead? Yeah. Elephant is gone. Here comes the royal cataphracts charging in onto the back of his thorax. 30 seconds left, guys. And that's obviously going to be the end. What a battle. That was crazy. That was literally insane. Look at how much this battlefield has lost. I mean, so much blood was lost on this battlefield, guys. Crazy. And the elephants, 832, 33 kills. Oh, boy. That's crazy. That is an insane amount of kills for an elephant general, especially on a land battle. That was a crazy fight. Let us take a look at the kills here. We'll start off with Parthia being commanded by Bulk Dilion. And he was the one that sent the replay over. Thank you very much for sending this replay in, bud. 3,298 kills. 3,300 kills. Wow. Great job. General 506. His uh, horse archers there. 267. Cataphracts 192, 179. Slingers. Look at that. 240, 219, 187, 328. 328. Uh, Hillman top was a 58. Getting into his hoplites, 110, 107, and his Parthian swordsmen, even they did amazing. 3, 30, I'm sorry, 3,000, well, 333, 198, and 152. Uh, then we have Pontus here, Andruism, Andruism, Andruism maybe, only 568. Yeah, four chariots on a, on a land battle. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I was also kind of questioning the, the initial lineup there with his uh, barricades and, and stakes and all that stuff on a land battle. It's kind of confusing. Uh, then we have Chimp Me Up here, 2,249 kills with Rome. 69, Giggity with the General. One of his uh, Syrians there, 160. Uh, the Levies top was 34. The other one didn't get any. Getting into his infantry, though. Armored Legionnaires, 171, 134, 376, and 203. Great job. Hastati got wrecked, but they were fighting the Pikemen. And his Legionnaires, 206, 169, 199, 116, and 158. What happened to you? 41 kills. Come on now. Uh, and then we have Fulgrim here with Massagete, 2,229 kills. Great job again. Uh, he's general only 64. The other Noble Armored Lancers here, 192, 253. Great job. Uh, the Amazonian yeah, Riders didn't do very well. One unit there with 110. He did get some rear charges there with them. Uh, Saka, Saka Cataphracts, 231, 165, 242. Noble Lancers, 108, 288, 301, 122. So great job there. I mean, it's it's a land battle. Horde factions, land battle, it's all cavalry. Kind of makes sense for them to do good. Uh, then we're getting on to the other side. We have Gregor here with Macedon. 565 kills. Unfortunate there. His general only 23 kills. Slingers top was a 25. Archer top was a 22. 
He actually added four X Pikeman there with 106 kills, not bad. Uh, Hoplites with 46 and his Royal Peltas. Those just, they got wrecked by the Slingers there at 73 and 48. Then we have Sparta here being commanded by Gracos, 1824, 164 with the General. Helen Archer's just not, yeah, not, not performing. 60 was the top, yeah, 47 was the second. It is Royal Spartans 212, 184. And then getting into his Spartan Hoplites, uh, one unit there with 120. His bikes, though, look at that. 208, 176, 224. Spartan Pikeman did a great job. Alien Master 20 with Egypt, 1,470 kills. 121 with his General. Uh, his Hellenic Royal Guard, one unit there with 80. His Archers, 123, 93, 87. Some of them getting okay kills. Thorax Swords, 145, 151. The Reos, not a whole lot. Top was a 52. Galatian Swordsman, 46. Carrion Axeman, 50. And his Egyptian Infantry there with 34. And then we have... Alurum here with Bactria, 2,761. So really good job there. But most of that, obviously, 832 with the general. Uh, Scythian Horse Archers, actually 100 kills. Good job. Citizen Cavalry got wrecked. His range, though, wow, 158, 221, 106, 120. Great job there. Thorax Swords 235, 121, 109, 233, 120. And one of his pikemen there, 124 kills. All right, guys, so there you go. End of the battle. Quick 21-minute battle replay. Not too bad. Pretty fun, pretty fun. But that is going to be the end, guys. So please make sure to hit the like button on the video. Share it around. Drop some comments down below. Would love to see what you guys' reaction is to 832 kill. I mean, I, I've said it like 50 times. That's amazing. That is really well done with the uh, Elephant General there on, on a land battle. Really good job. Uh, but also, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I want you guys to have, hopefully, all have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.